Oh, Mr. Downs! Oh, Mr. Downs! You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <laughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <laughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. You were the horse you expert. <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you got balls, anyways. <laughs> oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough. Hey, Bill. Hello, Arthur. What you up to? Nothing much. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. All right. Good morning, Arthur. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then.
Putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Look where you're going. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but... You know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Good boy. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can. Then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think?
Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Get on, dear boy. Everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. 
Best way. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train. Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
talking to my dear, and it's home, dearie, home, oh, it's home I want to be. My top sails are hoisted, and I must out to sea, for the old and the ash and the bunny birch and tree. All the growing green in the north country, and it's home, Oh, there's a wind that blows, and it's blowing from the west. And of all the winds that blow, is the one I like the best. For it blows at our back, and it shakes the pennant free, and soon it will blow us home to the north. Hey, yo. Arthur. Any problems? Not any new ones. Hello? Well, that's something. Okay, Arthur. Hoisted, and I must out to sea for the oak and the ash and the bonny birch and tree. They're all a growing green in the north country, and it's home. Come on now, boy.
back, Arthur. Hardest worker in camp. Someone's got to do it. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. No, no, it ain't like that. I, I, <sighs> I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fool. But, um... Morning. I'm watching you. Morning, T. Morning, other. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, I'll die. I am not well. I think I'm dying. I need mean... Morning, Arthur. Morning. Oh, thanks. I'm bored, Arthur. Are there any jobs going? I'm sure there will be soon. I'll let you know. Yeah. 
John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Shunk. I got no idea. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Good morning. Miss O'Shea, you look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. Sorry, ain't much company right now. Condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. Morning, Arthur. Didn't mean for the fella to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan. Not our fault. Uh, I don't know. Morning. Hey. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 